Good morning, everybody. It's Adam Conto, CEO of Remax here, and welcome to our new weekly web show, Mind Body Business. So the goal of this show, why are we here? Well, I just want to spend a few minutes together with you and share some thoughts. Share some thoughts about moving forward, both personally and professionally, despite everything else that's going on in the world we are involved in today, because there's some interesting things, aren't there? Everything's changed. And we need to be looking at the big picture to bring us into the tiny details to help us all build a holistic approach to success, health, and well-being. You know what's interesting? I, I talk to a lot of business coaches, and what those business coaches always tell me is when they see a problem with a relationship, when they see a problem in a business, when they see a problem with decisions, what does it come back to? It comes back to the mind. It comes back to the person. It comes back to, are you right? Because if you're not right, then the way that you operate is going to have some challenges. It's going to have some challenges, especially when there's a lot of pressures, when there's stress, when there's anxiety, things like that, because we have to be right in our mind, in our body, in order to be right in our business. So each one of these shows is going to have a theme. And the theme for this week is reach. Okay? Let's take a, what the, take a look at the, what the word reach means for your mind, your body, and your business. Reach means that the thing you want or need isn't right in front of you. It's not close. You can't just grab it. It's not that easy. You have to reach for it. You have to put in extra effort. You have to kind of, you know, get a little uncomfortable here to get to where you want to get to. There's a lot of uncomfortable going on right now, isn't there? A lot of change going on in this world, in this business. We're all learning new things. I'm learning new things. I'm trying to get uncomfortable as well. So really kind of a good example of that is you've seen me doing a lot of these videos, a lot of it, you know, this thing right here that we're in, that's uncomfortable. I, I got to tell you, uncomfortable for me. You know, it's, it's so much easier not to do this, not to be uncomfortable with this because you don't know. I'm going to screw up. I've already screwed up a few times on this, but the reality is it's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be human. It's okay to put yourself out there and be vulnerable be transparent. So if I want to build my skills, I have to reach. If you want to get good at anything, you have to start somewhere. You have to start where you're not that great and you have to reach to get better in your mind, in your body, and in your business. You know, as they say, the harder you work for something, the greater you feel when you finally achieve it. And I can't agree more than that. So let's jump right in. First, our mind. Let's talk about how your mindset and attitude are your key to reaching to this reach. How does your mind work with that? After all, the first part of reaching for something is deciding it's worth the effort. We have to decide, I want that. We have to really proclaim, I want that. I'm going to go after that. And here's the secret. It is worth the effort. It is worth the effort. And even if you fail at it, what did you do? You learned. You learn in the process. So right now, in the unimaginable situation that the world's in, I urge you to have the mentality of learning and reach for positive, productive information and development. That will grow your brain. Our brains are designed to learn because as soon as they stop learning, they stop expanding and they start deteriorating. So it'll help the balance in the difficult news that you take in every day, the different things that you have to uh, encounter and accomplish that are new, that are frustrating, that are different, that are pushing against you. Here's what I encourage you to do. Read books, listen to podcasts, take online classes. Okay, Participate in our daily Remax University webinars. We're putting out a lot of them and there's some amazing information coming out on there and we get to see each other. We get to see our friends. We get to see uh, some amazing brokers talking about amazing business. Amazing agents talking about amazing business. You see a lot of our incredible staff from Remax headquarters. And we get to share ideas in virtual mastermind groups. We reach to learn. And you'll feel more empowered. You'll feel far more in control of your life and business. In fact, speaking of reading books, the other night I was sitting at the kitchen table with my family. I have three kids. Uh, two of them are home from college. Uh, one is a senior in high school, and they're all doing online learning right now. They're all reaching, they're all logging in every day and using Zoom and other technology platforms to learn. And my wife was like, Adam, what book are you reading right now? And I'm thinking, this is, this is kind of fun how I like to talk about these things. So um, what came about of this was 
we're going to do a book club at dinner. So after dinner tonight, we're going to talk about the first chapter in our book for the book club. What book are we reading? Atomic Habits by James Clear. So uh, I get to facilitate chapter one, and then I'll pass the facilitation piece around to, to whoever else wants to do it. But our kids are so excited about it. We're This is interesting. We're reading books together and talking about what's in those books and how we can make ourselves better. So it's interesting how we can learn and get better. So another great resource for you. Recently, the government passed, in fact, the end of last week, the government passed the CARES Act and the president signed it uh, into place. And this is really important for our country because it's economic assistance for small business, for employees, nearly every employee, almost every employee in the country in the U.S. is eligible for this. There are some businesses that are excluded here and there, but ultimately the majority of people it helps. Okay, which is fantastic for the economics of this country because we are under a lot of pressure right now. Well, we put together a resource center for you to go learn, to reach and learn because ultimately for your business, real estate agents, brokers, other people, there's information in here. You have to file your CARES Act response, your request. So we encourage you to go to news.remax.com slash CARES Act. This is in our amazing new newsroom for Remax. So go check that out. A lot of great information in there. So that's the mind. Let's learn together. Let's expand together. Okay. So the second thing, body, body, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy body, healthy mind, right? So we have to encourage our body to be healthy. We're doing a lot of sitting right now, aren't we? I'm sitting right now. I'm not used to sitting this much. You're probably not used to sitting this much either. We're used to being up and being active creatures and walking around and, and you know, getting with people, things like that, and groups and, and saying hi and exercising all the time, going to the gym. Gyms are closed and generally we're in our houses for the most part, okay? So um, we're not as active. So reach, reaching means stretching. We're all constantly sitting too much. So I encourage you to stretch reach up in the air, go back up against the wall, move your arms up the wall, bend over and touch your toes or touch your knees and kind of walk your fingers down to your toes. See how close you can get. Do this every day and then sit down on the floor. Sit down on the floor and fall over your knees and then drop your elbows, push your hands forward, drop your chest and exhale and fall a little bit further. Try and do that every day. It will make a huge difference. It will elongate those muscles that we're shortening right now by sitting and being sedentary right now. I encourage you, reach, stretch, be healthy. This will help the blood flow, the oxygen flow, help your immune system, help those nutrients get through your body. You know how I am about health. I'm a huge fan of it because I believe healthy body, healthy mind, healthy business. So let's talk about business here. The third portion of reach for this show is reach out to your network, reach out to your community, reach out to the people. If you pull up your phone and look in the contact list, have you reached out to those people? Have you reached out to them to touch them, to ask them how they're doing? All it takes is a simple message. I encourage it to be video, but text is fine. Phone calls are better, but video is awesome. Why? Because they get to see your emotion, your heart, your face, your eyes, your smile. It helps us touch each other. So what should we say? Hey, it's Adam. I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing. I hope you're well. Is there anything I can do for you? That's all you have to do. It's kindness. It's reaching out with kindness, reaching out with your heart. Reach out to your clients, your business contacts, your peers, your neighbors, your friends, your family, your community. Let's do this more often. And this is where it becomes a little bit uncomfortable every now and then because we're not used to being on video. We're not used to doing this all the time because people think it's cold calling or salesy or something. Don't do that. Call and care. That's all you have to do. Reach out with, with kindness. Like I said, texts are better than nothing. Calls are better than texts and videos help you scale that relationship so well. So that's your mind, your body, your business with today. So I, I want you to stay visible, stay connected, stay engaged. It'll help you and your business get through this storm and position you for success when the storm clears. So I have a quote for you. I'd like to end each show with a quote. This quote is from an amazing human being, Benjamin Mays. Benjamin was born in the late 1800s. 
He was a civil rights pioneer. In fact, Benjamin even was a mentor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And Benjamin said, it must be born in mind that the tragedy of life doesn't lie in not reaching your goal. The tragedy lies in having no goals to reach. He understood having goals, having reach, and reaching out to go after those. Also, I wanted to include for you in this show a PDF download. You print it out, use it, share it. We'll have one for you every week. So here's where you can find it. Start with a win.com slash mind body business. And here's a challenge for you. Two parts. Okay. One, spend some time thinking of what you should be reaching for in your life, in your career. And two, don't just think about it. Take action on it. So let us know in the comments what you plan to do. We'd love to know and we'd love to encourage you. Download that PDF and be sure to watch us each week because we're going to have a new show, a new PDF. Let's continue to inspire each other to grow our businesses, to reach out to our communities and reach out for our minds and our bodies as well. It will all help ourselves. It'll help each other and it'll help the community. Okay. That's what I got for you today. Be kind, be well, be safe, be strong, and we'll see you here next Thursday. AC out.